Today is just the beginning, folks. We have too many children that are stuck in foster care. The adoptions process, while we've made great strides in Georgia, we have more to do because it's still too expensive and too cumbersome for Georgia families. The elderly are being exploited and abused in communities throughout our state and our nation. And countless victims of human trafficking remain in the shadows. They deserve justice. That is why we must all continue to fight. We must protect life at all stages. We must, we, we must remember our higher calling. And we must remember to work in the days, months, and years ahead. The first person I'd like to thank, the, the first leader alongside of us that, that helped us get this bill passed and move this balanced, thoughtful proposition forward is our Speaker of the House, David Ralston. Speaker. We've had this meaningful debate over these months. The, the state of Georgia recognizes the very difficult circumstance women find themselves in, but tries to strike the balance in HB 41 between the difficult circumstances women find themselves in and the fundamental right to life of a living, distinct child. That balance is what we've debated. That balance is what we've, is, is what we've worked so hard to strike. And it's something that I'm proud of, as I know Governor Kemp and others are proud of today. And we finally have this day. We can sign that into law and begin the process of, of recognizing both the interest of women who find themselves in difficult circumstances and the fundamental basic right to life. It's time to fight back. Um, we need to vote for women, we need to support women, we need to take back these seats and turn the majority of the General Assembly over to Democrats at this point. Georgians deserve dignity, autonomy, countless testimonies of fears of pregnancy.